Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey. Today we're speaking with Global Energy Metals Corp. I have to read it because I always mess it up because I'm used to calling you GEMC. Very happy today to have Mitchell Smith with us, CEO, uh, and has been CEO for quite some time. Hi, Peter. Well, thanks very much for uh, for having me on, and always good to speak with somebody who uh, shares the enthusiasm for technology metals like I do. Yeah, it's, um, it's a fascinating world right now. We just uh, were talking to some people in Argentina, and they're ramping up copper production there, which now today is zero, which I found really surprising. Huh, interesting. Yeah, it's that part of the world. Anyways, that's yeah. them, and <laughs> copper is an essential global energy metal, but not for one sure. that you're doing right now. Uh, let's start by talking about the November 10 press release. Sometimes you got to bet on the horse, sometimes you got to bet on the jockey. And your November 10 press release talked about you being the jockey. Can, can you tell us about that? Sure. Well, I, I mean, I think that there was some, some, some recognition in, in terms of um, my passion for, uh, for, for the battery metal space, as, as, uh, as you're aware. Um, you know, I've been involved within the uh, the critical mineral um, uh, sector for for over a decade. Uh, you know, un understood the uh, perhaps maybe a little bit too early into the adoption of, of it, but um, uh, but I think that there's a lot of a lot of opportunity moving forward within the space, and uh, happy to be a part of it. Well, in your history, you've negotiated offtake agreements. You've talked to the battery manufacturers. You're more than a mining guy. You're, you're throughout the supply chain, and the press release that you humbly just ignored ranked you as one of the top influencers in the battery mineral sector. So yes. that makes you a very, very strategic asset for the company. The shareholders should be happy having you in that chair. Now let's talk about well, some. Let's talk about, you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, let's talk about some of the other assets that you have. You have assets in Australia, but I understand yes. COVID is limiting Queensland right now. It's hard to travel, hard to, you know, I'm having trouble putting geologists in the field unless I can have a clear conscience. You must be the same way. Yeah, for, for sure. I mean, I, I think that there's, there's certain limitations that, that have been put in place because of, because of the pandemic. Um, but it's also, you know, highlighted some of the importance to regionalize supply and localization of, of new supply chain of, of these critical minerals. So, um, you know, our focus is going to uh, uh, be south of the border from from where we are, and and uh, look to uh, look to our assets in uh, in Nevada, which we just took an eighty five percent interest in. And Nevada, two thousand and nineteen Fraser Institute was ranked the number three jurisdiction globally for mining. Yes, and yeah, I, a fantastic place to do mining for sure. And I mentioned to you while we were preambling, I've actually been to your asset down there. It's, yeah, and, and it's right off the you know right off the road. I mean, we're we're very close to uh, to infrastructure there, and you know most notably, we're a hundred miles or 150 kilometers away from from the world's biggest battery factory with uh, with Tesla and, and Sparks at the Gigafactory. So that puts exactly. you a, just a little bit north of Reno, and probably about mm -hmm. a two hour drive south of Winnemucca. Correct. Yes. So everybody, go visit the property. <laughs> Please let's, do. Let's talk about that property. You're up to 85% sure. ownership. What kind of what are the minerals that are in the property? So it it was a, a historic producer um you know over 100 years ago, uh very very high grade uh nickel, uh cobalt and copper. Um you know historically there was a production of a few hundred tons uh, of, of material grading uh, fourteen percent cobalt and and twelve percent nickel, which is just unheard that's, of. That's an insane um, number. Like that, it, that, it that, is. That's cobalt Ontario kind of stupid numbers. It, it, exactly. I mean, this is this is un, unheard of, and 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 really what uh, drew our attention to to the property. Um, and and you know, I think that um, uh, because of fragmented ownership, it's never been explored using modern technique. Again, something that's really interesting uh, uh, from our perspective. Uh, there was a recent reinterpretation of data. Tell us about that. Yeah, so so we've we've done some work um, um, since first optioning the project um, from Nevada Sunrise uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, as mentioned, you know we've we've just um, renegotiated that deal and, and took an eighty five percent interest uh, in in the prop property through uh, through the issuance of shares and some cash. Um, 
but but that that data interpretation program was was is really being helpful in in terms of getting a much better understanding of of the regional structure of the property um you know identifying some some high priority targets for for a future drill campaign um and and really understanding the 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 scale of this you know it's it's really been um focused on uh, a, a couple of um sites uh to date um but given given some of the interpretation from the mag survey that we did and and the underground uh um work uh, that we we did mapping etc um the the scale of this um uh, can be much larger and and i think that's the the really exciting part is is to now go and look at um how we can delineate some more targets and and, and put some drills on the on site in the future and you can see that from the maps at the website you can see the potential scale you can see the magnetic field intensities uh good website by the way ah good thank you but it, it, there you know some websites are just there this one's actually informative yeah we try Try to make sure that our, our shareholders and, and interested parties know uh, as much about us as uh, as possible. Now, if you're going to be in supply chain, you got to be transparent, especially in critical matters. One hundred percent. Let's talk about the, the company. It's the company structure. Uh, mm -hmm. Sixteen million shares out, more or less, uh, trading around thirty cents. So you have a five million dollar market cap. Yes. Yeah, we're small. We're still very very small, and you know. Like the like the industry itself, uh, we're in we're in a, a in our infancy, but but there's certainly a lot of room for for us to grow as uh, as the sector matures as well. Will the initial growth come out of Nevada? You know, I think it's it's going to be a combination of of Nevada, um, our Australian assets, uh, and and um, and and new initiatives that we're uh, that we're going to be in, implementing in the in the not so distant future, and and really that's about. Uh, securing exposure to um, battery metals and the battery metal supply chain. Um, we started this by talking about you as the jockey, the company's the horse, but you have two other, well, you have a very good leadership team overall, and you've managed to secure the two Chris's. <laughs> yes, yes, Chris Berry and Christopher Ecclestone, yes. So yeah, it's a very good leadership team overall. You know, the company looks like it's poised for success, and I, I don't say that to everybody. You know, w w one thing we do pride ourselves in is is, is team uh, and, and and building um, you know leaders uh, and bringing in leaders in in the in the space. You know, we have uh, a, a very strong technical team. We have a very strong uh, board, and um, you know, an extremely smart and and knowledgeable uh, um, advisory board, including, like you said, the the, the two Chris's amongst others. Anything else you want to tell us? You know, there's 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 a lot happening. I mean, I think that the the, um, the space is is like I said, poised for for growth and uh, and us along with it. Excellent. Uh, always good to talk to you, Mitch. I miss seeing you in person at all the shows. Uh, you're one of Definitely. the few guys out there with better hair than I have. I <laughs> I hope you have a tremendous day, and we'll check in soon. Excellent. Thanks, Peter. Really appreciate it.